Hey guys, welcome back to another Beer Buddies uh, product review for or beard product review. Today we're going to go over um, combs and some and a brush or whatever brush you can find. <laughs> combs and a brush. Yeah, and a brush. And um, so Kent does an incredible job of making these combs. What, oh, do you want to yeah. tell them about it? Yeah. So I, I actually started off using one of those cheap plastic combs you can get anywhere. And then actually it was the beard baron yeah. who suggested, he's like, he did. that's going to destroy your beard. And I was like, really? I had no idea. So I started, I started, I well, bought why, this. Why does it destroy your beard? I don't think everybody knows this about so, cheap plastic combs for people who don't give a flip about their beards. Right? It comes down to cheap plastic brushes have, like they're made in plastic injection yeah. molds and they cut your beards. These, they do. These are saw cut, meaning each individual like little bristle, what are these called? What are these things called? You know what bristles. I mean? Bristles, teeth, there you go, thanks. Oh, teeth, teeth. Um, bristles. are cut with a saw, which means they glide. Yes, Look at this. it feels gliding, so good. Gliding through, oh my gosh. It's like, it's like, imagine a bald eagle flying over the evergreens of South Africa. Oh gosh, I see him. Makes sense, right? It does, I don't want to, I don't even care no, about the yeah, rest right? of this video. Honestly. So yeah, oh. it feels great. Um, before, when I was using the other comb, just to tell you real quick, it just ripped the crud out of my, my beard and it hurt. Like by the time I was done, I'm like, I'm not combing my beard. It hurts like crazy. I pull out tons of hairs. Once I started using this, it, it does pull out hairs once in a while, but honestly, it's the hairs that are gonna fall out anyway. It is. Like it's not, it's not doing anything, no damage. I can do this all day, all day. All day. All day. Once you go Kent, you never can go back. And then, Beard brushes, okay? There's kind of two camps. You got the comb camp and the brush camp. And then some people that do both and they look like this. And that's weird. Okay? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Of course not. <laughs> uh, beard brushes, my experience with the beard brush has been kind of. I've actually never tried it. Kind of different. Um, yeah, that, yeah, do you uh, mind? Mm, Is that all right? Mm, mm. You never touch another man's brush. Okay. It's like sharing a toothbrush, man. You just don't no, do that. No, you can do that. No, like, you can't. No, yeah, you can't. if you're in a hotel and you're like, oh, I forgot the toothbrush. I would highly recommend not letting another man use your brush. Okay, there's just certain things you don't share. Anyway. That's fair. This, it's, it's made from uh, boar bristles, the actual, yeah, bristles from boars, okay? They clean the stuff, they pack it in a brush. It, it does good. Um, people recommend brushes because it's supposed to help get down to your skin, pick up those natural oils, and because it's actually natural hair itself, it, attaches it to it, it pulls it out, okay. and then it redistributes. It, it's yeah, from what I've heard, it just kind of rips out the dead skin and stuff. Too. Yeah, you know, it's, and it's really coarse. My experience with it wasn't as good. I still use it every, you know, so often just because, you know, I want to keep trying it out. I want to believe, whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe that it's going to work. And it runs away, kind of like yeah. a boar does. So uh, we'll put a link to this one. This is the Genuine Bass uh, Beard Brush. Um, it's a well-made brush. In terms of a good-looking brush, it's good-looking. Does it work? Yes. Do I love it? Nah, not exactly. I wouldn't recommend it to, like, Micah here to but, try. But he recommends, but, you should see the stuff he recommends to me that's okay, just okay. terrible. And there's a whole other video for that. Fair enough. Links below. Anyways, this is the video that we want to share with you guys. Highly recommend Kent Combs. Yes. And, and don't especially forget the mustache. The, yes. yes. I was just going to get into that. I'm glad you said it. So mustache, uh, when I first started, I was like, why would I need this stupid little comb? So I bought this one. <laughs> yeah. And, like, and I was like, no, there's totally this totally gets in there. <laughs> forget that. I'm not, I don't need that. Once I started using waxes, this was, this was useless. Like yeah. once you start using waxes, just really, it's, it's still too big. Yeah, look, it really it's gets, getting it's getting down here. No amount of maneuvers is gonna no, help me get it. No, and this 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 just like this just does an awesome job, really? awesome job with the mustache. So essential if you're going to use any sort of wax with yes. your. And the real mustache. big reason for it too is if you use wax without some sort of comb or brush, whatever you do, if you don't use it for wax, it's not going to distribute the wax no. at all. And you're going to see clumping. It's going to be Wax, nasty. just the nature of wax is it clumps. It's going to get in there. Clumping Once you warm it up, that. you put it in, it clumps. This helps distribute it and makes it look 10 times better. 50 times better. Sure. Whatever. You Six, know, 60. You yeah. know, I, I'd, 70. I'd, I'd give 70. It, I'd give it four cups of hot water. Okay. That's cool. how I rate it. All right. Cool. Well, there you have it for uh, brushes, combs. Uh, just what our experience has been with them. We hope you guys enjoy it. Again, as always, comment below. Let us know what uh, you found to be useful and helpful to help distributing uh, products that you use in your beards. Um
and again, out. Yeah. save the beer. Save the beer. Thanks, guys. See ya.